Hey everybody, it's Kate. I am so excited to be here. Um, it has been a long time since I had the chance to sit down and film. And uh, now that I'm filming, I am remembering how much I enjoy it. <laughs> I love uh, communicating with you all through YouTube. Um, it's just one of my favorite social media outlets. I love watching everybody's plan with me videos and set up videos and I like filming them as well. So I'm really glad to be here. Um, thank you for stopping by and to my new subscribers, uh, I really appreciate you. So today, uh, I just wanted to film a faux dory setup video, but before I get into that, I want to go ahead and formally apologize for the lighting in this video. Uh, my issue is that I live in northern Louisiana, and it is very hot here. Um, we are in the summer months, and it's just incredibly hot. And so when they build homes here, they do that. Uh, they orient the houses in such a way as to uh, not let the direct sunlight hit the windows because the heat is so bad in the summer. So it is a real struggle for me uh, to find a window that has enough light coming in and I have such a I'm surrounded by lights right now and still uh, the video is a little on the dark side so forgive me for that y'all I'm doing what I can uh, and <laughs> trying constantly to improve the quality of my videos so um, what I wanted to film for you today was just a fabric faux dory uh, traveler's notebook setup video um, because I've got a setup right now that's working super well for me and I wanted to show you so, um, what I've got here is a uh, Flamingo Fodori. Uh, it's one of mine. Let me try to zoom you in a little bit. It's one of mine for my shop. Um, when I posted them originally, when I listed them originally, they sold out super quick. Um, I, but I have renewed the listing. There are more in stock. So, if you're interested in one of these, um, they are back in stock in my in, in stock in my Etsy stock, shop, and I'll leave um, a link below. Uh, so, <laughs> what I am absolutely loving right now is adding some kind of little charm on, uh, you know, just hooking it between the two elastics in the top. And this one, this precious little thing right here, is a little bunny wearing a pink shirt from Momo Mints on Etsy. I will also link them down below. Um, <laughs> now, they are in Canada, so I'm not really sure how their shop is going to be affected by the Canadian postal strike, so you'll definitely want to check there. But look how cute, y'all. She's got these little pink cheeks and little, there's your little eyes, and look at her little tail. Oh my god, it's so cute. I just think it goes so cute with the dory because the gray and the pink and everything. Okay, so I'm done gushing about that now. So let's get into the setup. So, uh... What I've done, I, all my faux dories come with pockets because I like to carry me some little goodies in here. Um, so that's just a printable for my shop. And here's this super cute card. Uh, <laughs> it's the Dalai Lama. <laughs> uh, I carry that. Mama gave me that. And then I have a thing about envelopes. So I keep this super cool uh, policy envelope in there from uh, a shipment a while back. And then here's one of these little... Uh, Aaron Condren cards and I just keep that tucked in there. Uh, this little insert, I, I hate to admit this, uh, it's sort of ugly notes if that makes sense. Uh, I'll leave it in here and keep carrying it because it's so glittery and pretty. Um, but it's got notes in there. Um, it's not cute. So this is really like sort of a, this is a brain dump type thing if that makes sense. Like I just dump it in there, whatever it is, uh, and then I'll transfer it more permanently or condense it down into one of my other inserts later. So this next insert is my calendar insert and this is a regular uh, Midori insert off Amazon. It is the, um, the grid insert. And so the first thing I've got set up here is my 2016, the rest of 2016 future planner. I find it super duper helpful to be able to see the whole year. And then, you know, because sometimes I've got something coming up six months down the road that I need to keep in mind. 
but I don't want to put that way back in my planner six months later and so here is just a little spot to you know keep my things in mind and since I started this in June I just split June and July up and then the rest of them I did equally so it goes all the way through December of 2016 and then my next is my month on one page so it's super simple and easy to set up I just did June 2016 I started with the one ended with a 30 and then did the uh, you know Monday Wednesday whatever like Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday you know you get my drift and then here this is here is a list like of goals that I want to do uh, try to get done for the month and then this is my daily tracker so I'm going to turn it here so you can see it a little better and I just use a little stamp here that says daily and I just use a ruler to do two columns and it's set up the same way it's 1 through 30 for uh, the days of the month and then I listed out the things I wanted to track water goal if I was whole 30 compliant which I was not for the whole month but that's okay uh, foam rolling running hip strength Instagram posts Facebook posts blog posts my anxiety level I've been struggling with that a lot lately also I feel the need to start tracking it whether or not I had a headache um, if I made my 10,000 steps and then uh, this last one is my fitness pal because towards the end of the month I started um, tracking again like in terms of calories and macros and all that so that's what that's for <clears throat> So I do this for every month, uh, month on one page here, my goals, and then daily tracking. So it's working out really well so far. And then here's just a weekly spread. This one I did some stickers. Like I quit buying stickers for a while um, because I was just planning in other ways. And so I don't really have many cute stickers. Um, so this was just my first week and it actually worked out pretty well. There, there's. A pretty decent amount of room if you set it up like this and what I did I do Monday through Thursday on the first page and then Friday Saturday and Sunday I make larger um, on the second page because the majority of what I'm I'm wanting to track in my planner is not like work related it's my personal stuff that I'm trying to take care of with regard to you know YouTube and Etsy and all that stuff so this allows me to have more space on Friday Saturday and Sunday which is when I get the majority of that type of stuff done so uh, here's my next weekly spread now this one I used quite a number of stamps um, like for instance I use these um, these are some Allie Edwards stamps um, let me see if I can get that to focus so you can see there it goes um, so the stamp set has the days of the week which I really love and I use this really pretty gray ink uh, on it which went great however I used um, some other little stamps in purple here which ended up kind of being a bad idea because it bled through like really bad like you can see that big purple thing right there um, so everywhere that I put down purple it bled through so I won't be doing that again in this and it's just because of this um, the paper you know in these inserts the gray ink works great but the purple comes through terrible so there's that um, this is this current week it's Sunday today um, and so <laughs> I jumped on the bandwagon and got a couple of these ink joy uh, gel pens and the ink is absolutely gorgeous but the tip is a 0.7 uh, tip which is really broad for me my personally my handwriting sucks pretty bad um, so I need a thinner pen like for instance um, this uh, let's see it's a pilot precise v5 pen um, the tip on this pen is very small and it works uh, quite a lot better for me if I could get it to focus sorry y'all I'm still trying to learn my camera setup let's see this pen has like a super fine tip and it works all I still can't get it to focus there it goes uh, this pen has a super fine tip on it and it's way easier for me to make a neat spread so I'm gonna go back to um, 
to use in this. Uh, these ink joy pens, the ink is like really beautiful, but it makes a hot mess. So I'm not going to use it for anything but like messy list making. Because my handwriting, I just can't even know. And then also, like I was super excited to use it because I love pink. I love pink. Well, look how pink this spread is. Like it's too pink. I prefer um, the spreads with the black ink on them. So that's what I'm going to do moving forward and then uh, I've already started kind of setting up July here I need to finish this setup um, probably today or tomorrow so here's my um, month on one page and today I guess it's the third or whatever yeah so there's my month on one page set up and so then I'll do right here I'll you know do this again with the uh, goals and the daily tracking on this page and then this will be where next week starts so it, it's actually like super fast to set it up I swear it took maybe 15 minutes and that's only when you need to uh, you know set up your entire following month because just to draw the little lines and set up the uh, the weekly spread takes like two seconds once you've got your first one set up then you can just flip the page you know mark your little poop and then you're good to go so yeah it's working pretty good as far as the calendar part so this next insert is um i had originally used this as my calendar insert um i was listing sort of day by so the last time i used it for a calendar was in october and it, it worked for a little while but i found it to be i don't know i just really prefer a weekly spread so what i started doing is i actually just went back and numbered the pages rather than throwing the insert away or ripping the pages out so now it serves as notes. And what I have on the, fr the front here is just a little index. And it's actually on a sticky note. So if it changes, I can just rip that sticky note out and put the different pages. But so I've numbered the pages here. So this says blog for the cruise, page 15. Turn to page 15 and there's my blog notes for the cruise. So um, that's actually working out really well for me. Uh, this is all, just another regular... Um, Midori insert and I've sewn a little tag on here and done some little washi tape decorating as well So that and the rest of that's blank and then I've got some other little things stuffed in there um My stickers are normally here. This is a folder from two dirty chickens uh, I'm not sure if she has any listed right now or not But it's what I use to keep uh, my current stickers in and I wanted to show you that uh, my last week I did um, with this super cute little sticker bloom sheet so it's one sheet so there's no need to buy a whole kit for um, one week in a faux dory so it's super economical you can still use uh, like really cute stickers without needing to buy like a $15 kit if that makes sense like here's another super cute kit that I may use next week this one's also from sticker bloom on Etsy and they've got the two uh, washi strips here some little shorter um, heart checklists, some half boxes, some quarter boxes, and then all the little icons, and then some like a little weekend. Super cute. I just found it like worked out really great for um, planning a week in the faux dory. So I just normally like I just slide my little stickers in here, and then uh, as I go through the week, if I want to add some stickers, they're in there. So the last insert is actually. Um, it's another uh, Midori insert and it's got craft paper in it. I'm not going to show you uh, what's in here just because that's my, um, it's got measurements and shop information in here. Nothing that I would share, um, uh, you know, because it's, the, they're my personal patterns uh, for my faux dories and whatnot. So yeah, um, I'm finding this setup is actually working really well. I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm just keep a little clip in here for the current week and just clip the weeks together so I can flip really quickly between my month and my week and it seems to be working out pretty well so I'm pretty stoked about that so yeah that's working really great and so I've been having keeping my Erin Condren for the most part at home um, which is also working pretty good sometimes I carry it, it just depends on what I feel like for that day and then while I'm at it, uh, like I mentioned, these have been restocked, but I've also got a new line of Dory's coming out. They are so cute. These are like uh, metallic gold. So I've got the arrows in mint. I've got 
the arrows in pink. I've got these super cute white and gold polka dots. Oh, look how pretty it is. Oh, I'm gonna have to keep one of these for myself. <laughs> I say that every time. Um, and then I've also got these like black and gold geometric uh, dories. So all these listings should be up by the time this video is posted. Um, Cause I know the metallics are like super, um, super popular right now. And so are arrows and so are flamingos. And uh, I'm actually still like right now trying to locate some good pineapple fabric. Um, Cause I know pineapples are still super popular right now. Um, and I'm also going to be listing some pineapple and uh, flamingo um, shakers in the shop as well. So, yeah. So, I'm super glad you stopped by today. Um, in terms of what's coming up for the channel, uh, I, <laughs> I had a customer contact me about a custom shaker uh, for her Erin Condren. And I had managed to not buy any more planners when the launch happened. However, uh, she got in touch with me and asked about a particular kind of shaker that I'd already been wanting to make for the Erin Condren. And so while I was on the Erin Condren website picking me up some more coil clips, I'm totally out of coil clips uh, to make the Erin Condren shakers. Um, <laughs> while I was on the website, um, this whole like new planner totally fell in my basket by accident. Um, and so I've got a new um, a new neutral coming to me. I was just gonna show y'all right quick if you've never seen one of my Erin Condren shakers before. Now I don't know where I put it. There it is. Um, <laughs> so I accidentally bought um, a vertical neutral, and so it's on the way. So of course I'm gonna be like talking about that and setting it up but here's one of my shakers this is a larger size so this is a super cute like unicorn uh with a shooting star up at the top and it's got some like pink sequins and goodies in it so yeah that's what i'm talking about when i say erin condren shaker um yeah so i'm pretty stoked to be um uh you know, I'm, I'm stoked about that coming and to get to set up another Erin Condren and I'm excited about listing some new shakers in the shop. So I'll probably do an unboxing video because um, I've watched a bunch uh, on YouTube. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so there's been a lot of activity around uh, the launch and I'm looking forward to that planner showing up. Oh, and then one other thing, I'm also um, setting up this large Kiki K as a uh, GTD setup. So I will be filming that once I get that all um, set up and working. I'm actually going to try to do the GTD system for like and leave this planner at home for the month of July. So I'm also going to have that coming up as well. So I'm super excited. Um, yeah, so I guess that's about it. Um, this video is a little longer than I intended, but if you watch my channel, you know I'm a talker. So yeah um so thank you so much for stopping by uh, if you have any questions just drop me a question down below um, I'll leave a link to the shops that I mentioned um, as well so you can check out the super cute little Momo Mints uh, goodie if you want to and then I'll also link leave a link to my shop and these uh, super cute flamingo fedoris so yeah thanks again everybody I hope you'll have a great weekend bye